The game starts out with its signature theme song. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. So you play as Jimmy Neutron, boy genius. Obviously. So this is what passes for a title screen these days. Wait, a decade ago. When was this made again? The box says 2002. Why am I reviewing this again? It's irrelevant! So you get four options, but I'm only going to show you the important ones. So there's this one, and that one. Got it? Moving on. So in the secret files, you'll find things like character galleries and movies, which are clips of the TV show and scenes from the movie of the same name. You know, I actually used to be a fan of Jimmy Neutron. Don't ask me why, I, I, I can't tell you. I really have changed. Don't get me wrong, I'm still crazy. Well, I don't see any other clips at the moment, so I should probably go play this story. Because we all know that's the only redeeming quality of playing this game. Clips from the movie and the TV show. I don't know why you wouldn't just watch the movie or the TV show instead, but I guess if buying the game is what you need to get you pumped up for it, then teach their own. But, but seriously, but why, would you, why would you do that? So without explanation, we're in Retroland. There, we meet up with Nick. Well, well, little Jimmy made it after all. Who sounds like he's about to sell you drugs. Did any other kids sneak out? What, do you think you're the only idiot? Everyone else is already in the park. Yep, he's high. Just look at his dead cold eyes and tell me that he did not smoke a whole bunch of marijuana. Grab them neutrons, boy! Grab them! You gotta have 60 to get in the park for some reason. Did I say you could stop? Dropping in me 20! So in the park, I gotta say, this is my favorite part of the game. Not only is it the first level so you don't have to play the rest of the game to get to it, there's also no real risk at taking your time. There are no lives here, and you just get to play some really cool mini-games. You can also replay them as often as you like. After the first one or two, they get boring, but that's beside the point. If the rest of the game had been like this, I probably would have liked it a whole lot better. That's not to say it's not without its problems. I'm looking at you, whatever that game is called. I'm not even kidding when I say I played this at least 12 times and I didn't win it once. The main goal here is to get several prizes so that all the loser kids can have a trophy and feel accomplished, even though they didn't work for them at all. Get your own trophies. These are mine. Also, great way to teach kids not to seek approval from the drug dealing kids at school. There are great influences on my child's future. I can't breathe. As luck would have it, once you've found all the prizes, and Carl's inhaler, the aliens decide to capture all the adults on the planet. For slave purposes, I presume. However, they did not take any children. I guess Nickelodeon didn't want kids thinking child slavery was a thing. Can you imagine if they did? Careful kids, better be good to your mommies and daddies or they'll become slaves to the egg people from Yolkus. <coughs> and if you don't eat your broccoli, so will you. <laughs> so let's go to the next level, shall we? Jumping Jupiter! These ion signatures can mean only one thing. Aliens! He must have captured our parents last night while we were off having fun at Retroland. Okay, I don't know that much about ions, but that is a lot of information to get from reading that device. Hmm. The amount of ions in my cup of water is unusually high. Which can only mean one thing. Aliens. We lost aliens. Come on, boy. We've got to tell everyone about what really happened to our parents. So let's just sit down here and then immediately get up because that was pointless. Okay, quick question. Why does Jimmy have a man-eating plan out in the open where any of his stupid friends could just come in and get eaten? That seems a little... Unwise. Don't you just hate it when you're walking in your secret lab and you fall down this hole that you forgot you put in? Happens all the time. Huh, what's this? That's right, everybody. Remember that game from the first level we all loved so much? Well, now you can relive that glory in the shade of red that I was seeing after playing it the first time. Uh, hi, Mr. Ant. I'm just gonna ignore that. You saw that correctly. Not only are there large giant ants, they serve no purpose and are never explained. Why are they here? Have they come to rule the world? We may never know. Also, good luck sleeping tonight. So inside this portal to hell, there lies a maze you must follow that's laced with giant ants and this green goop, which might be 
probably, could be, probably lethal. Maybe. Also, this car that's too small for even a child to drive. They don't make them like they used to. And finally, at the end of the tunnel... There we go. Is a big thingamajig. I don't know what it is, and I don't care, so let's go. The hell's this thing? That hurt. So Carl's here because he never goes home, and he wants to hear some good news, so we tell him aliens kidnapped his parents. But that's not all. We recruit him like some kind of Dumbledore's army, as well as all the other kids who seem to be hanging out around my house. Why are you here? Why are you here? You're okay, Sheen. Who the hell are you? Get out. Why did my parents buy me such a large dresser? I have so many questions. So after Jimmy rounds up all the kids together and leaves them exactly where they were, that's a minor technicality, for whatever reason they decide to go save their parents, instead of doing what every other kid would have done and gone full on Lord of the Flies. That would have been a very different movie. So we make ourselves a crispy Carl and we get ready to go by using... Okay. I have a few problems with that. So we land on an asteroid that the aliens have inhabited. God knows how we got there, or how we can breathe. That's irrelevant. My true question is how does Jimmy Neutron's hair stay so perfectly absurd at all times? It's a very important question. After crash landing, all the kids somehow survive, so I have to go find them and reprimand them for being stupid enough to come with me. Once they're all found, I finally have the chance to tell them that they're completely useless and pointless to the plot. Thanks for the company! I hope you make it home and find a way to avoid suffocating in the dark creatures of space. I also have no way of fixing the spaceship, so... There's that. I left all my tools as well as my good thinking cap at home. Jimmy then takes his trusty sidekick Goddard with him to find clues as to where their parents were taken. Hey, just use the GPS you used to find this asteroid. It seems to work really well. The trail stops here? Hmm. If I were a highly evolved life form, where would I go next? Looks like we found Alien Central. Well, okay then. This entire asteroid must be hollow. Whoa, wait, hold up. How did Goddard know that was gonna open? You know what? Just roll with it. Just roll with it. And here lies another part of the game I don't like. No real reason. I just don't like it. At the end of that rainbow is a mine. Where miners mine for stuff. They didn't really clarify that. And I would much rather avoid watching the movie again to find out. As we traverse through the level, we have to avoid flamethrowers, jump a lot, hit aliens with baseball bats, which for the life of me, I can't figure out how they got there. I didn't know aliens liked baseball, let alone enough to set bats in almost every room. I wonder, did they take a break from work and play baseball? Seriously, I would really like to know. So after a little bit of difficulty getting past these mechanical parts... Whoops. I slipped. Oh, Jimmy, you're alive! Anyway, we finally, somehow, make it to wherever the hell this is. But don't go mistaking this for Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory now. We aren't here to have fun. Also, the flesh-eating bugs probably aren't edible. Are they? There's only one way to find out! Yeah, That's disgusting! Now, I could tell you how to do this part, but that would ruin the hour-long mystery of figuring it out for yourself. Good luck! But once we finally open the contraption, we find... Cindy. Hello, Cindy. You're my favorite character. Blast off! Yeah, blast off, Cindy. <clears throat> anyway, I think we have a new movie. Let's go check it out. All right, here we go. Okay, shh, 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 it's coming on. What is it, man? Hold up. What the hell was that? Did Jimmy just speak in outer space? Yes, yes he did. Okay, I'm pretty confused right now. Did they even think about this before they released it? Okay, I think I'm gonna need a minute. Okay, I'm back, and I haven't improved at all. Yeah, I'm gonna skip this part. So you can kick some alien buttocks! Here we are at the next to last level, and I think I'm properly wasted to deal with it. Shh, don't tell nobody. Now this again. I am too wasted to keep my language family friendly. So here we are on Yolkus. Here, it is your mission to save the adults from standing in one space for the rest of their lives. Hey, wake up! There. Well, I gave it all I had. 
Once that's been accomplished, we move on to the last level. But not before we have one more slide mission. Trust me when I say that this one is by far the worst of them all. This one took me so many tries, I couldn't even record them all. Here's a quick death compilation for your enjoyment. I reach for the stars, but I like candy bars. This song yet yeah, has no direction. Like a super with a superpower in mind and a mechanical canine. Uh oh, I gotta take a defecation. Oh god, please stop singing. Please stop singing. This is it, Goddard. Let's show these Yokians what happens when they mess with a carbon-based life form! Oh uh, yeah, I forgot. There's kind of this, like, mini boss battle before the last level, but... Whatever, it's not like I'm getting paid for this. Alright! Before the last level, let's watch our new movie! Look! <gasps> Cindy! Shucks, I'll be fine. So here we are on the last level where Carl's just been chilling. What are you doing in here? We have a world to save! So get lost! Stop trying to save the world, Carl. That's my shtick, jackass. So let's save all the parents. Oh, here's Carl's mom. Thank you for rescuing me, Jimmy Neutron. Boy, am I tired. Oh, I apologize. Surely you must be Carl's dad. It's okay. We support you. There are more parents to rescue, you know. Soon after we save Charles. Where are we? What happened? I was so worried. Oh, that's not good. Jackass. Feast your eyes upon the giant chicken. <clears throat> Sorry. And in the next room, we see that Cindy has gotten here before me. How do you keep getting everywhere before me, Cindy? Jimmy, good thing you showed up. I've been trying to free my mom, but it's too difficult for me to make it across. Can you please help me save her? Sure thing. Ah, I'm not helping you. And I never will. Ah, ah. Oh yeah, I think I have to to get to the next room, so. But I'm not doing it for you, Cindy. Oh, hello. Here we have to get the giant chicken thing to destroy all the turrets. Once that's done, we can move on to the next room. Uh, oh, um... That's not good. Ah, yes, I forgot to mention one little detail. If you lose all your lives, you gotta start that whole level over again. And you betcha it's not easy. Get lost, Carl. I'm sorry, ma'am, for what Jimmy might have previously said. It was very insensitive of him. And here we are at the well, final boss. Finally. Okay, so I only have two lives left, so I gotta. Okay, that's alright, I'm still alive. I can do this. Okay, I missed. That's. Okay. Okay. Be more careful, Jimmy. Come on, you got this. Okay. That's alright, I got one more life left. I can do this. this good. Okay, that's not a good start. Okay. Do I throw these at the. Oh, no, that didn't work. Okay. Oh, hi. Hi, Mom. How are you? Yeah, I'm gonna save you. D d don't worry. I Hey, Dad. Okay. Alright. Okay, well. Thanks for watching. God freaking dang it! Get off your chair, fight me like a man, you lazy bastard!